now as uh, we have uh, understood like what is the high availability of i server 2 okay uh, let's do it on both the platforms so admin admin so on uh, hortonworks ambari through hortonworks ambari it's set up uh, setting up of uh, i server 2 is quite easy on cloudera we require few more uh, properties to be added okay so let's start with hortonworks and let's go to hive service and say aid high server 2 so here you will see that there is aid hive meta store and high server 2 both the things uh, you know to, to make them highly available you can have it so one HDP uh, one one we already install it on HDBM2 it, it is giving us the option only to add it on HDBS and H2 so we can uh, on this three machine we can have high server 2 three instance of high server 2 so let's let's go with uh, one more instance so I'm adding it on HDBS one Confirm add. So install high server it is getting added. So there is one property called dynamic discovery. The, so on Cloudera we need to make it on. So uh, <coughs> dynamic discovery, dynamic service discovery, dynamic service discovery will ensure that the client request will be given to the high server instance in round robin fashion. Okay. And if uh, one or two instances are down, then it will be forwarded so basically there is a property called dynamic discovery and uh, we can also have the high availability of meta store from the same menu okay and on the below command on the host you added one or more data store so one more copy so when you have meta store basically okay uh, so currently we will see only for hive hive server 2 okay so there is a property called high server to support dynamic discovery dynamic service discovery that we need to make uh, set it true on high site xml okay in in ambari basically it is already there uh, we need not to worry about it we need to focus that when you have high server to how it is going to be you know uh, how it is going to be load balanced basically using using Uzi sorry uh, using uh, uh, Zookeeper and it will also tell you that uh, what should be the command that you need to use in order to submit the beeline request okay so that you need to give the So basically this port 2181 it is zookeeper port okay so each zookeeper server is running on individual machines that is on HDPM2, HDPS1 and HDPS2 okay and they are all running on port number 2181 okay so this is the quorum or you can say the com the ensemble of zookeeper where three servers are there and this will allow the service discovery to be managed for high server 2 okay so all the requests will not no more directly going to the high server 2 it will first will be going to zookeeper and then zookeeper will select where it needs to route okay so instead of i connect uh, earlier we used to give directly the high server 2 uh, in the machine name okay now after high server 2 high availability we need to route the request through the zookeeper high availability okay so now it's done and once you edit this basically you may need to restart all these things so let me restart them okay so once it gets restart uh, let's go to cloudera manager and select hive and go to instances and add one more instance of high server to so correctly it is it so i will say add role instance and we 
हाई सरोवर टू सो so hs2 we are going to add hs2 over here okay hs2 already had been on the cdhm2 now cdhs1 also we are going to add one more high server to instance okay so i am saying okay and do continue okay so one more high server has been added to cdhs1 we can select and make it a start okay but before that what we can do is we just need to do this dynamic discovery okay so on high site xml on high site xml we need to add this property let me do that go to high site xml on cloud era site right so i can search also for this high server to advanced configuration snippet high server high server to advanced high server to ad advanced configuration snippet wall for high server so here we just need to add one more property that is high server to support dynamic discovery name and its value should be true you can also add a uh, description like uh, support load balancing for high server to okay so this is important high server to advanced configuration step high server to advanced configuration step safety wall uh, for high site xml so here we need to add more property right? so i am just saving it changes have been saved now go here on instances and start it and once it gets started let's see you come on her and just check if anything else needs to be restarted Okay, so let it restart. Now check the HTTP. So here restart is required. So it is failed somewhere. Okay, and we do have memory of only thirteen GB. So what we can do is we can reduce the memory of data node and name node. Okay, so currently, and that's why it is not getting started. So, we go to summary config of HDFS. So, it's currently one GB name node heap size. So, I can make it five one two, and also data node. maximum java heap is 512 okay save it
So let me restart all this. So on Hive over here, it seems uh, everything okay. I mean, the Hive server to high availability is done. Okay, and if you go to instances, these are running. They are all started, right? Hive meta. So now we can uh, connect to it using the this uh, you know URL. Okay, basically you should do beeline you hive to. Okay, and we do have CDH S one, S two, and M two. So this is like Zookeeper and symbol. Default and then service discovery mode is Zookeeper and Zookeeper name is Pesai Server two. Okay, we connect with this. Let's see uh, if we get Okay, so when we, you know, when we tried this, JDBC something, 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 so it gives us, you know, the connected to CDH S1 cluster dot com. Okay, so it has picked first high server to So there are two high server to instance running on cloud era high server to, I mean, we have made the high server to availability, high availability. One high, ser high server is running on CDH M1. Uh, M2 and another one is running on CDH S1, right? So if I duplicate this and try to reconnect it with the same thing, so next request should go to HDP, uh, sorry, CDH M2. So let me do that. Okay, so on, let me just pick this thing and try to paste same over here. Okay, now you will see that it should so the first request has come on CDS1 so sir so as per the round, uh, round robin fashion of you know the zookeeper that is the dynamic service discovery mode basically it will forward the second request to the second instance of high server 2 that is running on CDH M2 and okay it's again connected to this one So what we did is basically we had to just restart the hive. Okay, once you add the high server to instance, okay, second instance. So and if you add this property, you know, this property over here. So all you just need to do is uh, just restart your hive if it is not working and if it does not give you the proper load balance, just restart your hive. Okay, and nothing else is required. So let me come out of it. This is the another session. Let me come out of it also. So this th these are two sessions, right? So the two sessions means we can have two different B line started. So let me connect first with this session and try to see that where it is getting connected to. So there are two high server two instances running. One is on. So it is saying that it is connected to cdhs one cluster.com, right? And if you go here. Okay, so it has forwarded that request again. Uh, let me just come out of this another session and try to hit one more time. So on, on the second try basically it connected to cdhm2cluster.com right so I mean 
it is working so for the first attempt it is going to connect to cdhs1 and then for the second attempt it is going to connect to cdhm2.cluster.com so basically uh, we find one warning for zookeeper that is for the cdhs2 on this particular uh, node oh, sorry in, on this particular port so we may need to restart zookeeper and then retry it and it should work fine okay so one time it is hitting to cdh m2 and another time it is hitting to cdh s1 on cluster.com so only these settings are required and uh, we can make the high server to availability in high mode so we need to add the you know zookeeper instances for making the high server to availability on other nodes so i will just add two more instances of zookeeper over here Okay, this is zookeeper server this is zookeeper then only we can have it okay so i am adding it continue because when we see this error basically it is trying to connect to cdhs1 on this one but somehow the server is not running and that's why it is refused and that's why we could not be able to you know do the load balance so the data directory on both the things would be okay i am saying finish and let me start them so the entity is currently running with okay so just click on here and update the configuration basically okay since we add two more so for all uh, so this this entries will also be getting added into zookeeper configuration so let me just save it and then we can restart it so restart stale services deploy client configuration on whatever wherever is it? because since we made the configuration in zookeeper it is going to affect most of the services because most of them are relying on zookeeper quorum so i am restarting now so rolling restart means one after the other i mean it will pick the service and then so we just redeploy all the configuration and whatever services those needs to be restarted will be restarted so basically we may need to do this and add two more instances of zookeeper server okay so that so that high uh, so that you know so that the load balancing can happen so make sure you have three at least three at least three zookeeper servers servers running So on uh, Hortonworx, uh, the Zambari side, basically we have restarted all the service after making the changes of high server two. Now let's run the command for it. Maybe it, it won't show you the exact. So this is where we are going to connect to HTTP, right? So let me run this command.
we can use this one and just replace uh, the CDH to HDB. let me run it so this is my HDP M2 so we need to be on switch user HDFS HDFS so it won't tell you where it is connected to it just it tells Apache if it is connected to Apache so it won't show you Basically, is a problem with uh, Hortonworks. Um, while it won't show you where it is connected to, okay, which instance is it connected to. Let me just duplicate the session and try to make one more connection of Hive, Hive 2. HDFS, HDFS. so even it does not connect to so it, it should actually show here that which particular uh, no, machine or which particular higher high server instance it has connected to so that is what actually it is not showing uh, that we may need to check on our high server two logs that which is currently serving which client okay that is something we need to check on Cloudera side it is actually restarting services now okay so we have three uh, zookeeper servers running now we can try on green screen so let me come out of it So on HCD, let me run this, and on over here also, let me first check. So it has connected to CDHS1 this time, and over here. Now it is connected to CDHM, right? So this is now perfect. So basically, we have three Zookeeper server running instances which will do the load balancing for high server to availability. It will try to do the load balance. Now suppose this is right. So if I uh, if I come out of here, okay, or if I okay, so let it be. If I come out of over here, if I try to reconnect to it. So this is connected to CDH M2. This is again go to CDH S1. because there is so see cdhs1 it is connected to okay if i come out of it i come out of it let me retry let's see which one it picks then the opposite one will be picked on the other end so this is now this has picked cdhm2 okay now if you go here and try to connect it should pick cdhs1 so this is what is called proper load balancing okay so the so the amount uh, the okay again it has picked cdhm2 come out of it it is connected to cdhm2 okay so let me just try hit more one time so now it has picked cdhs1 right so it is trying to properly balance the load of incoming requests to the high server 2 and it will balance the number of users on both the Hive Server 2 instances. Okay, and this is how actually you should have the high availability of Hive Server 2 managed through Cloudera Manager or you know Hortonworks Ambari. So we have seen both the things. Though on Hortonworks basically it does not give where it is connected to it, just gives you some generic name. Okay? So it won't tell you where it is connected to, but 
but but it is sure that since uh, there is a high availability of zookeeper servers and high availability of ha uh, of high server too it is picking or doing the load balancing internally okay so that's it any questions for high server to high availability Zookeeper is uh, not required for load balancing of the data node or name node. Yeah, it should. Required it is required. It is. It is required. No, no, no. It is. It is required for all the load. I mean, for name node, it's a zookeeper high availability is required. Though we have not done zookeeper high availability on it Cloudera, maybe, uh, but in in Hortonworks we already have it. Uh, okay. Okay. So that's why I mean we we caught it while we are doing high server to high availability on Cloudera, but somehow we missed. Uh, men, uh, we we miss like how uh, we miss the you know uh, number of zookeeper servers to we make you know so we had to made we had to make it like three uh, it was all running with one only and that's why we got you know the uh, earlier error that from you know this kind of error that uh, it is attempting to reconnect okay so this itself means that on CDH whatever it is pointing to that CDH S two you know it is not running at all over there then we picked it from The configuration and we saw that only one zookeeper instance is running. Okay, for name node high availability and even resource manager high availability, yes, uh, it should be running. But then again, it can come down to number one also. It is it's it's still uh, at least one automatically will get selected. Okay, only the failover mechanism will definitely get failed because it does not now will be confused that what to select, what not to select. On Hortonworks side, we already had three zookeeper instances running on separately on all the three nodes. For the Cloudera side, we missed it, and that's why uh, we got this mismanagement. But then somehow, if you miss something, then then definitely you will learn. Okay, so in this case, basically we learned that we have missed the uh, you know the Zookeeper installation on two more machines for making it three instances of Zookeeper server. Now we have made it, and see the things are running properly. Okay, and since we made the changes all the configuration automatically get refreshed for hdfs yarn and whatever whoever is using the zookeeper you know servers so yes it is required to have three minimum three zookeeper servers running in order to make the high availability of name node resource manager high server to or any other component any questions yeah all right right so okay then